The measures I've described would help our firms and workers, especially in sectors that are facing cyclical or structural weaknesses. Even more important is how we will increase our growth in the medium to long term, so as to sustain our potential growth of 2 to 3 per cent. Let me now speak about measures to build our capacity for the future economy. These measures largely respond to the ideas put forth by the Committee on the Future Economy, or CFE. The CFE has laid out seven mutually reinforcing strategies to tackle the challenges ahead. These strategies are not prescriptive blueprints, but focus on developing adaptability and resilience. These qualities will keep Singapore relevant even as the world changes. Emerging economies are now able to produce rather than import higher value components. There is also a growing consumer class in many Asian cities. Even as we stay open and connected, we have to understand our global partners and customers much better and more deeply. Our enterprises and people will need to venture overseas and to immerse themselves in these markets to gain deep insights. Technology is reshaping businesses, jobs and lifestyles across the world. We must spot the opportunities in the digital economy and make the most of our strength as a nimble, well-educated, tech-savvy society. As we mature as an economy, we must compete on the quality and novelty of our ideas and our ability to create value. We need to build a strong innovation and enterprise engine to complement our traditional strengths in efficiency and speed. These moves will entail building the capabilities of our enterprises, the capabilities of our people, and bringing all parts together in partnership to act as one agile, adaptable whole. This, in essence, is a key thrust of the CFE recommendations.